Time now for a critic at large, and people who like to catch a concert or a play aren't finding many fun nights out these days. COVID-19 has punched the performance scene in the gut. Warren Gerds has new findings that show how hard it has been hit. In this report, you will see pictures of what we are missing while I detail the dark side of what happened in the past year. Nationally, a large portion of arts organizations have lost $14.8 billion so far in the pandemic, and 99% of the organizations canceled or postponed events. The loss of audience spending at local restaurants, lodging, and stores amounts to $15.3 billion as of January 11th. Research by the group Americans for the Arts estimates 59% of cultural organizations remain closed. 484 million ticket purchases vanished with the cancellations. 35% of cultural organizations laid off or furloughed staff. Among artists and creative workers, 95% report a loss of income. 63% have become fully unemployed. 78% have no post-pandemic financial recovery plan. Within these statistics are the 83 cultural organizations in Northeastern Wisconsin that receive grant support. In the 16 counties in the region, I calculate more than 900 productions have been canceled or postponed. Easily more than 3,000 public performances did not happen. A theater director in our area called these numbers sad, sad, sad. Nationally, changes are surfacing, such as 63% of organizations are making their cultural product available online. More about developments and what we missed is in my column at wearegreenbay.com. Click on community. I am Warren Gerritz, Local 5, Critic at Large.